Okay, so I'm going to do an unboxing today, and it is the February Lust Habit box. So it's a little bit late, but it is what it is. I don't okay, mind. So I've taken the card out of the bag, and the bag is its normal pink mesh makeup bag, and it says all about makeup, so that's a little bit glary there. And it has the products on the back. So I'm going to start with the first one. And the first one is an Ulta 3 lip liner. And I have the shade Plum. So I've taken it out of this little plastic wrapper. It says, Ulta 3 lip liners offer an unbelievably smooth and soft line to define and add shape to your lips. So this retails for 2 95 so it's very, very inexpensive. So let's see how it applies. Because sometimes the cheap ones are actually really really nice now that goes on unbelievably smoothly that is absolutely beautiful it's quite a dark color but I have been heavily into the bright bolds and dark colors lately so I definitely will try this because I do have oh excuse me <laughs> I do have a um, breathing problem I do have a really nice dark lipstick that I don't have a liner for so this is ideal so I'll give this a whirl and you'll probably see it on a video coming up soon. This product up is something from Natural Glamour and it's called Two Glow Line Treatment and Concealer and I've got the medium so the line treatment is obviously the white shade and the concealer is the colour at the other end. So it's a full size product and it retails for $27.95. And it says, a new, a new generation dual action concealer that treats and hides flaws. The line treatment tightens and moisturizes the delicate eye area, smoothing and reducing the appearance of expression lines for a rejuvenated youthful radiance. The concealer is a light reflecting and it covers redness, under eye dark, circles, pigmentation and other imperfections for a natural skin flattering luminous look. So that sounds good. I'm not sure oh, I'm not sure about the line treatment. I don't really like putting anything I'm not familiar with under my eyes because I do have very sensitive skin. But seems fine. It's a very, very, very lightweight cream. It's almost like a primer, it feels like. So it, I think it's basically an under eye primer, it feels like. It's got that same sort of almost silicony texture. Very, very quick to dry. Uh, the concealer, let's see. The colour theoretically should be a good match for me. So I'll just pop that on top. And it is, yeah, light reflecting. It's a lightweight cream by the feel of that. It's not a heavy, thick cream. No, not at all. It's an absolute spot-on match for me. So I will give that a go. Mm, no scent. So it seems fine. So, yep, I'll give that a go because I'm forever under... A per, like I'm always on the search for the perfect concealer that doesn't crease and so far there's very few that actually say they don't crease that actually live up to my expectations the one I have on today is going pretty well so far that's the Scout Cosmetics one so I'll give this one a go too and I'll see how I go product number three is also from Natural Glamour and it is a an illuminating foundation with an SPF of 15 and I have the colour medium so it's a full size product and it retails for $29.95. It says, for a flawless glowing complexion, delivers a perfect radiant matte finish that leaves the skin feeling velvety soft, conceals blemishes to create a flawless finish, free from talc, parabens, and bismuth oxychloride. Okay, so let's see what this is like. So it's a pump dispenser, which is great. So I'm just going to pop a little tiny bit. On my, ooh, okay, that came out quick on my hand so it's probably a little bit too much I'm just going to get rid of half of that guys because I don't want this going everywhere so I'm just going to wipe off I'm just wiping it I'm just wiping off half that there okie doke and we'll just get rid of that in the bin behind me so I've got a little bit on my hand there and I'm just going to shear that out and oh well that is so not medium good grief Okie doke, I would say there is a, I'm just going to keep shearing this out and see what we get, but there is no way in hell that is a medium, and even at my most tanned, and just for, don't remember, just remember, sorry guys, um, we are coming out of summer in Australia, so I am still tanned, and you can see potentially against, it's completely, yeah, no, it's horrid, um, okay, sorry, I'll do, I won't go on about that, even sheared out, that is a very, very different colour to what I would wear, and it is quite dark, so I don't think that's a medium coverage at all, but on a positive side, it does feel nice, and when it says it sets to velvet, it is velvet rather than a very, very matte finish, but that is not medium, I mean, I have on medium, and yeah, not so much, Okay, day. Well, that's a shame because the concealer was a really good colour. This, not so much. So I will 
try and find someone I know with a lot darker complexion than me and pass it on, otherwise I'm just going to turf that We one. have a product from Designer Brands and it is this liquid eyeliner in this nifty little pot. And I've got a black one and it says it retails for $8.99, it's a full size product. And okie doke, so it says once you've tried glitter there's no going back. These little liner magic wands will put some sparkle onto your eyes for sure. Be transformed from a mild-mannered girl into an attention-seeking goddess. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry. Super fine brush ensures perfect application and just that hint of sparkle for those channeling Studio 54 <laughs> looks. Oh, God. Sorry, guys. Okay, so theoretically there are some with glitter, but I suspect this is just plain black. So, yeah, that doesn't look like there's any glitter there. So I'm just going to do a bit of a... Oh, not really a, a line, but just a... No, there's definitely no glitter. Um, not the blackest. And the brush would be potentially really good if you are expert at doing liquid liner. And I'm definitely not. Cat's eyes, like, that's just... It's quite hard to control. Um, I'm assuming that there are some glitter ones, but that one's definitely not. So there'll be no channeling any goddesses or Studio 54 for me. So I may or may not use that. Um, I've got a lot of liquid eyeliners and I don't use any of them. So mm, handy to have, but probably won't use it. Okay, so the final product is a skincare product from Paula's Choice. And it is this. It is a skin perfecting 2% BHA liquid exfoliant that contains salicy salicylic acid sorry guys I've got to keep going he'll just keep doing it and it's good for all skin types and it says it creates radiant even skin tone reduces redness and builds collagen unclogs and diminishes enlarged pores so that sounds really really good um, and there is a price for this because it is a deluxe sample it retails for $12 for the 30 mil sample and full size which is 118 mils retails for $33 and it says that it exfoliates both the skin surface inside the pores reshaping the pore lining unclogging the pores and improving the skin cell turnover rate so it sounds really good and I do like Paula's choice but if you follow my Wednesday weight updates you will know that I've had all sorts of crazy stuff going on with my skin I've had breakouts I've had super dryness I've had congestion here congestion around my chin I have just got that under control pretty much and I've been using Strictly Dermalogica and Nip and Fab products and I'm going to stick to that for the time being. So I will use this at some stage but not quite yet. Okay, so that is it for this month's bag and we got four full-size products and one deluxe sample. So that's really great. I was overall really pleased but exceptionally, exceptionally disappointed with the colour of this because even on the label now it just looks like a muddy puddle. So there is no way, in my opinion, that that is a medium, even if you shear it out and shear it out, which is not the idea of a foundation. So if you have tried this in a different shade, let me know your thoughts. If you've got a light and it's the right colour or it's too dark, let me know what you think because I would be interested to know. The liquid liner I can take or leave. There's nothing wrong with it. I just really don't. I've got small eyes, so I tend not to wear out liners, but I'll pass that on to somebody else. I love the colour of this, the plum liner from Ulta 3. I think it's a beautiful colour coming into autumn. And the other product from Natural Glamour I think is fantastic. I think the colour of that concealer looks brilliant. I might not necessarily use the line end of it, but I definitely would try the concealer. And then the Paula's Choice... It's a great sample size. It gives you an idea of how the product works. So overall, a great box, but yeah, very disappointed with the colour of the Natural Glamour Foundation. Okay, guys, that's it. And I will be back tomorrow with my Wednesday weight update. So guys, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you've got any questions for me, pop them in the comments box below and I'll get back to you. And I will put all the product information in the description bar. And guys, if you haven't subscribed to me already, please hit that button. I really appreciate your support. And I'm really loving some of the positive feedback that I'm getting. So I'm really enjoying doing these videos. Anyway, I will see you in the next video. So thank you very much for watching. Bye.